everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we are wrapping up the month of April in my reading journal and I really enjoyed this theme. However, I didn't really use my journal all that often throughout the month. So you'll find that there are a couple of areas where I don't visit them for very long in this video and I'll talk about them when that happens. But for the most part, I was incredibly organized to film this video for you all. I ensured that I had all my stats written down. I had gone ahead and filled in every page. So it made things a little bit easier to film. I do find that this is a bit of an undertaking each month. And I've had a really hectic start to May. So I needed to simplify everything. And that was by going the extra mile, if that makes sense. A little bit counter... Uh, productive in some ways to have to do extra work to film something but it made this process streamlined and much more efficient overall so there was a little bit of a jump with the lighting there I did turn on an extra light because I felt like it wasn't giving enough but I actually feel like the color tone was better before so we have to deal with it now because I turned the light on. But um, I read a total of 18 books in April. I had a really good month overall. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have time to do a end of month reading update. Like I mentioned, the start of May was very hectic. We had a family emergency. Uh, a family member ended up in hospital. So my attention span has not been on books. And it hasn't been great. I'm still getting into the new swing of things now that that family member is back home, but uh, I won't have a reading update for you. Overall though, I've had a decent month. My main, uh, sorry, my average doesn't represent that, and I did read a few books that were terrible. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. There was my very first one-star review since I think I gave one one-star review in my first year returning to reading in 2021 and that's it. I don't give out one stars, I tend to just DNF instead. It was an arc and this book made me feel incredibly uncomfortable. So um, I, I had no other option in my opinion other than to give it a one star review. However that meant that I had to try and figure out a new color system for that because I haven't had a need for it. Um, that was a very simple fix. We get to that a little bit later in the video. But um, aside from the one star read, I did have quite a few five star reads um, and I had a good time with those five star reads. In fact, my favorite book of the month was The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. It was my first time reading anything by this author and I gave it five stars. Obviously, I had such a good time with this book and it's actually become my favorite book so far of 2024 which I was not expecting because I picked it up on a whim on the Spotify audiobook system. I didn't know that I had access to it, and then when I did, I just decided that would be the first book I'd use to um, take up the 15 hours of free listening that I have. Uh, I did obviously listen to it much shorter time than 15 hours, and if you're not using the Spotify system, uh, I do think it's a little unfair that... If you read it faster, you still don't get extra hours, but that's a small gripe. Um, overall, my main stats, I read a total of 7,700, sorry, 7,075 pages. Like I mentioned, my average was low. It was 3.7. I read, or listened, sorry, to 36 Point eight hours. I did a total of nine arcs. I really focused on my arcs over April, and I had a really overall good time getting through them um, but like I said a few of them were really low rated um, where are we I brought slash got gifted 10 books in April I used five library hires I read 13 books that were part of a series five books that were standalones I didn't participate in the uh, Aurelian readathon that I wanted to participate in. I just didn't have enough time in between arcs and it just was a little bit over my head so I decided that I'll do that readathon later in the year. 
Um, I did participate in book club though and I read one book for book club. I did two buddy reads with one of my friends and um, her friend group which was really fun and I didn't reread anything. Um, I did have the intention of picking up another book in the Folk of the Air series, the graphic novel, but I didn't get around to it. Um, for format I had one physical but I actually didn't just read one physical. Um, I did have 10 ebooks, 4 audiobooks and 3 mixed reads. So I'm told I read 4 physical books but I did have the help of an audiobook with 3 of them. I read 17 novels and 1 novella. So that was really, really good. Um, and I did have three different genres for the month. I had ten fantasy, seven romance, and one paranormal. I had um, an audience rating of ten adult books and eight young adult books. And 93% of my reads were medium paced. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. We're almost caught up to where I am with reading out all these stats. On the other side, I did write down all the books that I read, the new books that I got. I put down that I sampled Canadian Boyfriend. I think it's by Laura Holiday. And I did also DNF a book. It was Girl, Goddess, Queen, I think by Bea Fitzgerald. I got to 18% in that and just wasn't vibing with the female main protagonist. Um, for acquired books on the other side, I did have a list there. I had one that I got from an author, two that I got from, an, from authors but used book sirens, four that I got from the library, and you'll see that on the other side I put five, but one of them I actually owned. Um, so six from NetGalley, three, as I mentioned, I owned, and two from the Spotify... Um, listing because I that one was a bit weird because I did actually own one of the Spotify books as well I turned and read it um, and I didn't unhaul anything on the other side we've got the star ratings now and I did five five star ratings one 4.5 four four star one 3.5 stars five three stars one two star and one one star for my challenges, I only did the Buzz Waterthon, and I think the word was nature, and hemlock. I chose the Hemlock Queen by Hannah Witten for that, because hemlock is a natural, well, a word from nature. Um, what else? I didn't take part in the Kindle Takedown, and for social media, I did pretty well with my reels, um, trying to incorporate them a bit more. I'm not huge on real making uh, which is funny since I do like to make YouTube videos but I just don't like short format content, uh, content all that often I think it's a little bit like you spend a lot of time for 60 seconds so um, I do find myself a little bit challenged there still. We're flipping into the front of the book and I had already written down or colored in the boxes for April. I'm just writing down my social media growth tracker. This page here I haven't filled in. I did make a video however of me filling it in so you'll get to see that as a short. And now we're on to the most problematic page of the month. Um, I loved this page last year. I had so much fun filling it in. I just loved how it popped. But last year I was only tracking how many books I read each day. And for some reason I decided in 2024 to not only track the book amount, but also the format that I read it in. And that's where I started to have a bit of a problem with this page. It took some thinking to get my head around it. And now it seems every month I have a problem filling this in. In this case for April, I actually messed up and you'll see that I do come in and fix that um, on the book amount and then on the format page, we, uh, sorry, the format side, um, I did end up cutting footage because I just, you can see I got really flustered there, so um, yeah, I just, I'm not sure why I have such a hard time filling in this page. So it is what it is. We're going to fix that little mistake that I made by cutting out a couple of squares from the back of the book 
and then gluing them on top. It does look a little bit bulky now, but I much prefer the fact that they're the right colours as opposed to leaving it the way it was with me using the green pen over top of the purple. It just looked really muddy, so I'm glad that I went in and took the effort to cover up these mistakes. I definitely prefer to keep the book amount side correct. The format side of the page I have made some mistakes on um, and I've just put them in the different box. So yeah, next year we definitely won't be doing two pixels for the year. I'm only going to do the book amount one. I have thought about giving up on doing the format one but I've kind of already started it so I feel like I need to continue on and um, we'll see how the next few months go and if I can continue to do it perhaps I might just do that one off camera and do the book amount one on camera I feel like I make more mistakes on the format side like using the wrong pen like I just did then to do the diagonal line it was all a bit messy um, when I got flustered it was sort of game over for this so now you'll see that this footage is about to cut out and we continue on with the rest of the wrapping up session in the journals. So I did manage to put one book on the Read the Rainbow shelf. This year I'm doing only fantasy books. I'd also finished the 24 um, tropes page off camera and filled in a couple of other details during the month. So there was nothing new to add at the end here. I think I should have just left this alone, um, but it ends up being slightly too big for the box either way I put it, so I ended up giving up and just sticking the um, monthly destination in over top of the theme picture. We're now in my reading data journal and I, this is the one that I put a lot of effort into off camera and made sure everything was up to date, so the arcs list I just carried on with ticking off what I had completed on the series tracker. I had a list off to the side in that um, cream journal of all the books that I had series already written down in this notebook and then series that I had to add. So it was extremely um, streamlined. I didn't have to flip back and forth looking for the series um, and then added a whole bunch on at the end which I'm doing right now. I do have to apologize that these metallic pens that I ended up using to set this journal up are not camera worthy. Um, they're very difficult to read when the light is hitting them on the camera but in person I see them just fine um, especially if I tilt them a certain way. Um, so next time I set up a journal I definitely won't be using metallic pens. I just think these three pens are really pretty and I don't have any other use for them so that's why I use them in this journal but looking back on it now I think it was a really poor decision of pen use. We're now on the owned TBR section and if you aren't aware green is the colour for 2024 and I've already added my books that I got in April to the list so I just had to tick them off. Adding the book that I DNF'd to the DNF books page and then we're going to flip to the 2024 at a glance page and you can see that the pen colour is different and the coloured marker pen is different. My little pen that I was using on the left side of the page ran out on the Hemlock Queen so I had to stick in a piece of paper over top of that and use a new pen and with some really good feedback that I've had from um, some viewers I decided that I would use the same color but different pens um, to represent my star ratings on the boxes oh sorry the circles so I used my dot markers to do this and I now need to go ahead and redo the left side. We're finally at the end of this video's flip through. Here is April completed in my large main journal. Uh, like I mentioned, I did film filling in the bookshelfie, so you can check that video out. In a few days time, I should have it up on the channel. I don't really have a schedule at the moment because I'm just taking every day as it comes. Thank you for spending time with me today, and until we next meet, I hope you have fun reading or journaling. Bye everyone.